morning. Day six. Day six, babe. Five, day six. Day six. Day six. Five thirty. Gonna boil a bunch of water, make some coffee, have some oatmeal. And then get out of here. I don't know how you like this one better than the medium one. I think that medium one pours way better. You know this feel pretty bad this morning, eh? Yeah. Not not as bad as last night. It's like a symphony every night of the mosquitoes, eh? Yeah, but the night before, or the last thing was <coughs> much, much. Much, much, much. I'm trying to set the eye hunter up so I can watch it when we're going. I want to see if I can find that route that we plan. Okay. Well, we are at the bottom of Rat Lake. And we think we have found a route through to get us down to the Severn River. And we will be east of the Swift Locks Rapids and we'll be west of Lock 42. All right, baby, we ready? Yep. Yep. Oh, they got me on the back.
coming up. In the last little bit. I don't remember how long this poor car was, eh? 285? I don't remember. Whatever. But if this works out, this will get us out onto the Severn River. Yeah, take your time. Screw the bucket rail, just get going. So, folks, if this works out, we got about another kilometer to go, and we're out on the Severn River into the Trent Severn Waterway. And then we'll be heading over to Lock 42 and down into Wachago. Anyways, we gotta get going. We still got one more load to go. Ready to go? Yep. Screw it. All your footage on the other side. So, we had marked out to the left and down a little bit more. And while we were stumbling through the bush, Sabrina came upon this trail. And I don't see signs of it being used by anything other than game. Just because the entrance is all jammed up with stuff. And I don't see, nothing's really been cleared up near the top, eh babe? Nothing's really been cleared through here. It looks like this trail has been used for years and years, like it's been used for a very long time, but it doesn't look like it's been used for years, is what I'm trying to say. our second portage so <clears throat> we came out of Rat Lake this morning and there's a little tiny <clears throat> lake swamp that's just south of Rat Lake and then this little 
swamp, lake, whatever you want to call it, comes right out to the Severn River. And it comes out just east of the Swift Rapids Lock. And we are north of, well, what's that lake? Oh, we are north of Sparrow Lake, that's it. Sparrow Lake, that's what we're north of, right? so bad, Serena's literally running through these port horses. So this is where the trail ends, right here, in this little tiny bay off the Severn River. You can see right there. But we're gonna put in over there because it hasn't been used for a while and it's all swampy and muskeggy and Sabrina's tired of stepping through muskegs and swamp water and I don't blame her. What? Yeah? Okay. That camera footage is going to suck with the paddle swinging back and forth trying to get rid of bugs. <laughs> so that, the 250 meter portage, somewhere around there. Now he's got to go back and get the canoe. <sighs> You all good, Bib? Come here, come here, come here. You got deer fly right on your back. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, that, if you can see it, it's the Severn River. Anyways, I'm gonna go get our boat. Don't want to sit around too long. Getting eaten alive, eh? Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the Severn River. We did it. We found a spot on the south end to get us here. Huh, huh, huh. How happy are you not to be fighting bugs right now? I say I'm quite happy about that. <laughs> 9.30, we did pretty damn good today, babe. We want to go that way. Okay. To the left. To the left, to, to the, the left. left. Everything you own is in the box, to the left. Where are we, Hydro, Hydro Glen, it said? Something like that. A Hydro Glen Swiss.
densely populated now. And look at, look, look at that thing. Fucking monster. It's like six levels. Yeah, and they're all probably Airbnb. Anyways, folks, we are at the north end of Sparrow Lake. And we have 17 kilometers to go to get to Lock 42. And once we're there, that's easy to get to where we're going to camp. But there's nowhere for us to stay from here down. Well, Lock 42 does have facilities, but they don't suggest it. Which is why some, a lot of the locks have camping facilities. But for some reason, they don't suggest it at Lock 42. There's going to be a lot of traffic too. It's a Friday, a beautiful weekend. Next weekend's Canada Day, long weekend. So folks, we are rounding the bend on the Severn River here, over to Lock 42. What, you say three o'clock, Serena? Yeah, just after, like a couple minutes after three. Now. After three, so we didn't make too bad time, considering we were going upstream the whole way. Now it looks like we're gonna have the wind behind us. So we're coming up to Lock 42. Instead of tying it off, yeah, we could do that. Babe, Lock 42. that was our final portage in the Lake Cooch. Well, what an adventure that was! <laughs> lakes that are no longer lakes, <laughs> they're muskegs with alders. <laughs> It, it was, it was still, regardless of that, everything that we saw while we were in there completely made the struggle worth it. I wouldn't have it any other way. Maybe not so many beaver ponds. Maybe not so many lakes that have grown over. <laughs> or maybe do trips like that earlier in the year. Don't know if I'd want to do it later in the year. I think the water would be way too low for a lot of that stuff.
Alrighty folks, we are here. So this is Highway 11 that we just went under and uh, Bond Road. The Bond Road exit is a little... I, I remember reading the just flat. Just south of Lushago. Yeah. This is... This used to be the Washago shop. You used to be able to, used to be able to get out of here and get into Washago, but anyways, that's another that's a history lesson for another day. That's a wrap for this trip. We're gonna unload the canoe, wait for our friends. I'm tired, I'm hungry. I'm sunburnt. I put my shirt back on. I definitely decided I don't like open water. Actually, it's not true. I don't like the open water where there's, what's the word I'm looking for? The Civilization. <laughs> and the current and the wind, if it's not in our favor. But I, no, I, I much prefer the serenity, like you said, the serenity of the rivers. And the smaller so. lakes and just the less populated lakes. So now, I've had a couple people ask me questions about how we were going to get out because they weren't able to find an exit at the south end of the Severn River Conservation Area. Um, if you guys are interested, I will share that with you with my eye hunter. If you guys have eye hunter, um, we'll do a little. I'll do a little trip report too. Anyways, thank you to everybody. Eye hunter, Discovery Expedition, Agua, Bolt Physio. Naked canine nutrition. Ernie and Marlene. Eric and Nat. Crystal. Hi, Crystal. Kevin. My youngest. My youngest son just graduated. It's the graduation ceremony on Wednesday, 29. He's going to Dalhousie. Good for him. I'm extremely proud, but at the same point in time, why is he gonna go so far away? But hey, fish jump tomorrow morning. I'm gonna start a whole new video tomorrow. Has nothing to do with this trip. It's gonna be nothing but bass. Spata, spata, just like that. Anyways, folks, thanks for hanging out with us. Get outside, like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. Yeah, 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 buddy. Let's load this thing. Unload this thing. <laughs>